Hey, so this is the Stella Rosa wine. It is wine that I've never tried before. On the back it says, grapes for our delicious Stella Rosa Black are harvested from beautiful vineyards. This refreshing wine reveals deep, dark color and is combined with natural flavors of ripe blackberry, blueberry, and raspberry. Stella Rosa Black is seductive, rich, and full-bodied with a hint of sweetness. Served chilled with fresh fruit, cheese, spicy cuisine, and desserts. Stella Brate life with friends. Stella Brate. I like that. Celebrate. Stella Brate. Stella Brate. I like that. And then it's got translation in it in another language there too. Hmm. Sugar count about 23 grams per eight fluid ounces. Let me get this bottle open. I always like drinking stuff that's new. If I like it, and I really, really like it, try it for the second time. This one does have a cork in it, so need a nice wine opener. Tonight, we're gonna to be trying this with some Korean food. Give you a preview of it here in a second. My wife Rosa was steady busy with cooking for about a whole hour. The whole house smells of Korean food now. This cork is in there real good. There we go. It smells good and fruity. It's slushy, maybe? Did you put it in the freezer? Oh my god! It's like frozen! You hey, put it in the go. freezer and it froze up. Uh-uh-uh-uh. This is... This is... Wow. This is like ice cold. Oh my god, I'm losing I don't think it's supposed to come out like a slushy. <laughs> Eagle pot? Oh. No, it's coming out. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna have some slushy oh wine tonight. <gasps> Anyways, here's to trying our Stella Rosa wine. Cheers. Mm, I like it. It's not bad with the slushy texture either. <laughs> it's just like a slushy juice. Yeah. Let's see, it's 11.33 at night. We got home at 9.30. So it took about two hours for it to become a slushy. Mm -hmm. mm, about two hours. Throw it in the fridge for about two hours and you'll get this kind of a texture. Mmm, look at this. So this is a wrap here. It's got beef and all kinds of good textures. Mmm. -hmm.
So the Stella Rosa wine, it's won 90 points at the Wine Institute and it's only got 5% alcohol in it. So it's not a lot per se of alcohol in a bottle. And I think the reason why it turned into a slushy texture is because it only has 5% alcohol. If it had about 10% alcohol, I'd imagine that the bottle wouldn't get so slushy after a couple of hours. Did some riding tonight on the boosted board and it's charging right now. This thing is charging pretty quickly. Each of these dots signify about 20%. So there's five dots here in total. There's two, four, six, eight, 100% in the battery. I got this thing up pretty fast tonight, up to my max speed in the expert level, which allowed me to go 25 miles an hour on that board. So I'm looking forward to taking out tomorrow. Maybe I can get it up to that speed with my action camera. Somehow, I don't know, maybe I'll have it on this monopod while I move around on my board. Or maybe I'll just record it from my Snapchat spectacle so I don't have to balance, uh, you know, stick in front of me while boarding for the vlog. Do it for the vlog! One thing to note, this boosted board, it's the Dual Plus version, the latest one that was released. And from it, you can see that it's got a app which allows me to see how much battery life has been charged. 64% has been charged on it and I've been starting a stopwatch to see how long ago that actually was starting so from about 10% I am able to see here 38 minutes ago is how long it took me to get 64% there and each full charge gets me about six miles because I have the standard battery in it. Since I've got it though about a week ago, I already put 53 miles on it and been putting some time on it. It's pretty cool. See, it tells me the different kinds of distance I can get with each different mode, beginner, eco mode, expert mode, and pro mode. Fun stuff.